Now this exercise is the locus of a point six. You have three pieces of timber, one representing a ladder with step A marked in red and the other wall on the other ground. The ladder rests against the wall like this. The question, a ladder is resting against a wall. Trace the locus of step A as the ladder slips down. The ladder must be in contact with the wall and the ground at all times. I have, what I've done here is I've marked uh, six positions along the wall for the ladder. So when the ladder is in a vertical position, the top of the ladder is at position one and step A is there. When I move the ladder to the second position, A is there. When I move the ladder to position three, point A is there. When I move to four, step A is there, and five, there, and six, I have already marked here. So now these are the points for the locus of the step as the ladder slides out in the bottom. So you just freehand join the points and that is the locus of step A as the ladder slips down. That's using the templates. Now this is the same question as it would appear on a paper without models or templates. Given a line representing the wall and a line representing the ground and a line representing the ladder with point A marked on it. The first thing you do is set the compass to the length of the ladder. Position the compass in the bottom point here and mark where the top of the ladder would be. We'll mark that as point one. We'll take the, this position to be point two and then mark intermediate points on the wall here say three four and five and the bottom one so with this is three four and five and the bottom one here is six so now with the compass set to the length of the ladder mark where the bottom of the ladder would be from each of the intermediate positions you have marked now join that bottom point to the corresponding point on the wall so point three to the first one point four to the next one and so on until you get all the lines in position that's where the ladder would be as it falls now we have to locate point a on that line as the ladder moves down so set the compass from the top of the ladder to point a and then from each of the positions of the top of the ladder, mark where point A would be on the ladder. And that gets us the points. Now we join those points, just a freehand curve again, as before, just freehand curve down through the points, and that's the locus of point A as the ladder slides out in the bottom with the top of the ladder in contact with the wall and the bottom of the ladder in contact with the ground all the time. That's your question complete.